Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint different kinds of cabbages in oil color. Enjoy! Let's make a cabbage patch. And we'll use our palette knife. And try to find your right mixture of green that you're looking for. Starting with the lightest, a light shade in the middle for the inner cabbage leaves and work your way around it, um, gradually getting darker. So there's many different kinds of cabbage. Um, some are very light green and some are very dark green. Those are more similar to kale and I think this is, is that kind since I chose a dark, rich green color for it. And we'll sort of just wrap the leaves around each other. And try to get a nice thick layer of paint so that you'll be able to use it later in order to scratch out the stems inside the leaves. So here we're just putting one around the next, overlapping one after the next, and in a sort of circular oval shape. And then just using the edge of the knife, we'll make some lines to show the stems. And since there's a lot of paint, you really see you scratch through and it, it gives a nice look of a, a stem underneath. Well, really, the stems of the cabbage are sort of protruding, not sunk in. But the, the kind of cabbage that is uh, similar to kale, these stems are, at least on one side, they are more um, sunk in. Now here's the Chinese cabbage. Napa cabbage, I think it's called. And it looks like a, a bulb shape in the center. And that's the lightest part, and then the darkest part is on top, and it gradually moves from green to yellow. So we'll put one color on one side and one on the other, and then we'll move them towards the middle to blend together. It basically looks look like one gigantic leaf with a bulb at the bottom. And once again, using the knife, we'll scratch out those stem lines. <clears throat> this is the, a closed bunch again. And we'll area on the bottom that we was stuck to the ground. And that's our napa cabbage. Now with some rich magenta color, we will put a nice round purple cabbage. And try to use um, basically as little paint as possible, since we'll try to paint on top of this with white. We don't want to leave an excess of paint. We want to scrape it off with the knife after you have your basic shape that you are happy with, then you just scrape off the excess and reuse that for something else. And then take a, a small brush, a small round pointy brush with white paint and you'll get the, this will be a cut 
cut in half. So you see the very center has the thickest layer. And then working around that, leaving different uh, different amounts of paint here and there to look like those bigger and smaller layers of white against the purple. That is the, the way that red cabbage looks when you cut it in the center. So it does help to wipe the brush clean after each um, donation. And to take a new dose of white paint for the next area that you plan to work on. And it's sort of layered around and around a round kind of pattern surrounding the center stalk. And this is why you don't want to have too much extra paint from the purple so that it doesn't mix too much with the white and completely take over. You want the white to be able to show through. Since this is a wet on wet kind of painting in oil, the paint does not dry for a while. So if you, if you wanted it to dry and then to work on it afterwards with the white, that's an option also. In that case, you'd get much more um, fine detail that you'd be able to put on if you leave it to dry and then afterwards go ahead with white and make much more precise um, layers. So this is the anapa cabbage that is cut open. You see the white at the bottom, the yellow in the middle, and the green at the very top. And they are a little bit blended one into the next. And when the, this cabbage is cut open, the inside is many, many layers and very curly. Like it looks like a whole big, gigantic mass of curls in the top of the cut open cabbage. So we'll make these squiggles with the edge of the knife, and then lines to show the layers that are... Um, that they start from the base and culminate in all those squiggles on the top.